I, 28, think my girlfriend, 26, has been using my gym socks to wipe after going to the bathroom. I don't even know where to start with this. I'm dumbfounded. She just stormed out of the house and I'm sitting on the bed asking myself a lot of questions. I live a pretty normal life and I thought so did my girlfriend. We've been together for a few months and after things got serious, we moved in together. We started sharing a lot of household responsibilities, but the one thing she was adamant on doing was the laundry. She would come home and find me in the bedroom getting the laundry together and would quickly ask me to go do something else. I'd come back to finish the laundry and she would have already started it. I always thought that it was sweet and never her job to do it alone. But hey, if it makes her happy to do it all the time, I wouldn't stop her. This is where it takes a turn for the weird. I keep all of my socks and underwear in the bottom drawer of my dresser. I also go to the gym frequently, so I always Always keep a good supply of clean socks ready to go. I never kept count, but I know just by a visual glance that I have several pairs. This morning, when I went to grab a fresh pair for the gym, I noticed that there were several dress socks, but no gym socks. Again, not weird, they must have been in the laundry. I went to check the laundry basket and it was empty. So I checked the washing machine and dryer, both were empty. I couldn't figure out where all of my gym socks had gone. So I did the very natural thing of asking my girlfriend what had happened to them. After all, she is the one who does the laundry all the time. She went silent, turned red, and ran out of the room. When I went after her to see if she was okay, she wouldn't talk to me. I told her I wasn't mad, I was just looking for my socks. She kind of mumbled, I don't know. I still wasn't mad, of course, but I was super confused. Socks just don't disappear. So I asked her again, even laughed about it, and she looked at me and got mad and said, I'll buy you new ones. The first thought that went through my head was she had somehow managed to destroy my socks while washing them. I thought the side of that was actually pretty funny, so I joked with her about ruining my socks. Wrong thing to say. She immediately started crying, like full on sobbing. At this point, I don't care about the socks anymore. I want to know what's wrong with my girlfriend. I sat down next to her on the bed and put my arm around her and asked her if she was okay. She just kept saying she was sorry and that she would buy me new socks. I tried assuring her again that it was okay, even went as far as to say that I would buy new socks so she didn't have to. I sat with her for a few minutes trying to calm her down and eventually had to get ready for work. I told her I loved her and got my things together to leave for the day. On my way out, I grabbed the garbage to take outside. When I got outside, I lifted the lid of the garbage can and I noticed a small plastic bag sitting on top of the garbage already in there. I could see through the bag and there were socks in there. Since I was sure she somehow managed to ruin the socks washing them, I wanted to see for myself. There, inside the bag, were several pairs of my gym socks covered in what looked like poop. As soon as the smell hit, I knew it was poop. One, we don't own any pets. Two, we don't have any kids. Three, whose poop was on my socks? Work could wait. I couldn't go the rest of the day wondering why my gym socks were covered in poop and inside a plastic bag in the garbage can. I grabbed the bag and walked back inside. As soon as my girlfriend saw the bag, she flipped out and started yelling at me. She said I shouldn't be going through the garbage and that I was disgusting for bringing it back into the house. I asked her to calm down and that I just wanted an answer as to why there was poop on my socks. I wasn't blaming her of anything, but she started accusing me of blaming her. That's when it clicked. I don't know what it was that had led me to ask this, but everything leading up to this moment had just been so crazy. I asked her, is this your poop? She started sobbing again and ran out of the house. I didn't go after her this time. So now I'm sitting on my bed with a bag of poopy socks on the floor and a lot of questions in my head. The only conclusion is that she used them after going to the bathroom. Which, that alone, has its own set of questions above everything else. I sent her a text asking her to come back and she hasn't responded yet. I don't even know what I'm going to say if she comes back. Update. She said she didn't want to talk about it in person and that we could discuss it over texting and not bring it up in person. I'm considering the conversation and filling in some gaps as best as I can. Her response are super short, but I'm getting the idea. I flat out asked her if it was a fetish. It is not a fetish. She confessed to using the socks after going to the bathroom. I found the reason she always does the laundry is because she was hiding the fact that she uses the socks to wipe with. Primarily her own. I had no reason to question the amount of socks she ever has because who pays attention to that kind of thing? She thought I would notice and think it was weird since she doesn't own many socks. She admitted she has done this for a long time. Her reasoning, as best as I can understand, is that because she is a germaphobe, her word, and she is afraid that toilet paper will tear and is afraid of getting her hands messy in any way. She uses socks because it covers her entire hand. After she's done with them, she throws them away. She used mine because she didn't have any other socks. So my girlfriend has a fear of getting poop on her hands so she wipes with socks. And has done so for a long time. It could be worse, I guess. I just hope we can laugh about this later. I'm trying to find the humor in it now, but I'm still weirded out. After 18 years of marriage, I just found out that my children are not mine. My wife, Kelly, and I have known each other for over 20 years and I have been married to her for 18. We have 17-year-old twins, a boy and a girl, and I found out that they aren't mine two days ago. My kids got those ancestry tests for the family and we found out that I am not their father. Kelly and I met each other as coworkers at a job right out of college. 
We both were very ambitious, so after working for a couple of years, we decided to start our own business. We fell in love, and a year after starting our business, we got married. A couple of months into our marriage, we had a massive fight over the direction we wanted to take our business in, and I left our home. She came to me a couple of weeks later, and we compromised. We've been inseparable ever since. Kelly got pregnant around that time. We've been through thick and thin. Our business has been through several hardships, but we weathered them together. We were always there for each other. We could always depend on one another, and I loved her so much. She was a part of me, and I couldn't imagine a life without her. I trusted her absolutely until this happened. Kelly has been crying and apologizing constantly. She told me that during the time we had that fight at the start of our marriage, she got drunk one night and slept with a random guy, and that she has not cheated on me since. The betrayal has left me disoriented. I told Kelly I needed some time to process this, and I'm currently staying at a hotel. I don't know what I'm even doing anymore. The last two days have been a blur. I feel like a zombie, completely unable to feel or process anything. I don't intend to abandon my kids. I might not be their father, but I'm still their dad, and I love them dearly. My thoughts are a mess, so I'm writing this down to help me process. Kelly has always been a great wife and an excellent business partner. I don't know if I'll be able to look at her the same again or if I'll be the same person. I don't know how to move forward or if I even can. Am I wrong for returning the shoes I got for my husband after he accused me of stealing from him? My, 29, husband, 36, is the breadwinner of the family. I stay home with the kids who are preschool age. He pays for the mortgage, bills, household needs, food, kids' needs, etc. He has set a monthly budget for each category and handles getting everything done. Recently, he has become overwhelmed and told me to handle grocery shopping, but before he let me, he asked me to write a list of all the stuff we need so he could calculate the total and also so he'd have an idea of how much I'll be spending when I take his credit card. I didn't have an issue with that because this way we'd watch our spending habits. However, he said I'm never allowed to get something that isn't on the list unless I'm paying for it some other way. Huh? On Friday, I was doing some grocery shopping as usual and saw that the store had some nice shoes on sale. The price was insanely low for this brand and so I decided to grab a pair from my husband thinking he'd be happy with them since he needed new sneakers anyway. I bought them and when I showed them to him, he flipped out on me saying I made a huge mistake by buying something that wasn't on the list. I agreed with him but I thought that since the shoes were for him, then it'd be different. He said I screwed up and shouldn't have bought those sneakers without telling him. To my defense, I said the price was so low and it's not like I spent $100 on shoes. And also, I saw this as a great deal and wanted him to have those nice sneakers. He plainly said that what I did is considered stealing since he never consented to have those sneakers purchased and said that I'm being irresponsible with money, that is why I no longer have an income and my spending habits need a grip. We argued about it for hours and he avoided speaking to me for the rest of the day. The next day, I went and returned the sneakers and took the money back. He got home in the evening and lost it when he found out. He said he couldn't believe how petty and childish I was to actually do this. I explained that I was just correcting my mistake. He tried to contact the store and was told the sneakers were already sold. He got even angrier with me, but I told him that he accused me of stealing from him when I was just trying to do a nice gesture. He yelled that I had a lot of nerve calling what I did a nice gesture while using his money to do it. I told him he had no right to yell at me after I corrected my mistake and gave back the money he accused me of stealing. He threw a fit, then went out to his friends and came home late at night still not talking to me. So am I wrong here? Am I wrong for calling my brother's girlfriend disgusting and refusing to meet her? I, 27 female, recently had a very unpleasant encounter with my brother's 32 male new girlfriend, 21 female, that has culminated in the family getting dragged into it. We'll call her Anne. He's been with Anne for about five months, but I've never met her for various reasons from both of our ends. He said he wanted to get to know her properly before introducing her to us all. And I made a crack along the lines of, yeah, well, 12 year olds are known to be unpredictable, which made him sulk for a while too. I probably shouldn't have said that, but the age gap is weird to me. I met up with him a few weeks ago for coffee. The topic of Anne came up briefly, but he just said that they are still together and he liked her, so I was coming around to the idea that I maybe should stop being a judgmental asshole and just meet her. After, I went back to my car, grabbed my plastic bags, and went shopping in town. After about an hour, I came back to my car and it was messed up. It had been scratched, a drink thrown over it, but the worst thing was that someone had smeared blood on my driver door and literally shoved a used feminine hygiene product in the door handle. I had to go back to the store and buy rubber gloves and bleach just to get back into my car. I get home and I get a text from my brother. He said Anne had confronted him when he got home over his cheating and she thought I was the other woman and had vandalized my car. He said she was really upset and wanted to apologize to me in person and give me flowers. I said that even if I had been some other woman, that what she did was disgusting and she was nuts. I never wanted to meet her and I expected payment for cleaning and damages. For the last two weeks, it's been this revolting door of my family calling me and telling me to let her apologize. Me letting them know exactly what she did and them mostly agreeing with me in the end. 
Then I get messages from my brother telling me to stop telling people what happened because it was embarrassing Anne. I had some aunts who are mad at me for even telling them. Make it make sense. And her family are of course livid with me, not to mention my brother. It's just so much noise in my head that I'm starting to think I should just drop it because I have repaired the damage and had it cleaned. I've sent my brother the bill but not had anything from him yet because he says I've done emotional damage to Anne. Bro, honest to God, I swear, I would have called the cops. I'm petty like that. I would have press charged and be like, yo, this person vandalized my car. And you have proof, like the text message proof that or the call that she vandalized your car. You're too nice. I don't care if my brother or not. I would be like, this bitch is crazy. I think it was emotionally damaging to have to see what she did to my car. But in the off chance that I've gone mad and I am overreacting, please tell me. So am I the asshole for calling my brother's girlfriend disgusting and never wanting to meet her because of what she did to my car?